Hi, good day. My name is Masi Anbibali from BSN2 Widenback. For today's video, I am going to show you the procedure about assisting in catheterization. There are two types of catheterization. Number one is the straight catheterization and number two is the indwelling catheterization. And what is the definition? It is assisting in the introduction of a catheter into the bladder through the urethra for the relief of urinary retention or for emptying the bladder completely. There are 10 objectives. Number one, to relieve acute or chronic urinary retention. Number two, to promote urinary elimination. Number three, to obtain a sterile specimen. Number four, to obtain accurate measurement of bladder function. Number five, to provide continual urinary bladder drainage. Number six, for preoperative and postoperative drainage. Number eight, to measure the amount of residual urine after voiding. Number nine, to monitor the output of critically ill patients. And lastly, is to prevent skin breakdown in incontinent bedridden patients. Now, let us proceed to the procedure. Step number one, in preparation of equipment. Obtain treatment card from the nurse and check with doctor's orders. This helps to save time and effort. Step number two. Bring equipment to bedside table. After that, check lighting source. Now, proceed in preparation of the patient. Step number one is to identify patient and explain the procedure and need for the patient to keep knees positioned during procedure. Describe pressure sensation that will be felt during catheter insertion. Patient will feel reassured if the procedure is explained and if she is handled gently and considerately. Next step is to screen the patient to provide privacy. This reduces client embarrassment and aids in relaxation during the procedure. Next is to place bed in high position and lower side rails and working side. This promotes use of proper body mechanics. Next is place patient in dorsal recumbent position if female and bring knees up and out and may need assistance to keep knees in the position if male. This position provides for good visualization of the urinary meatus and perennial structure. Next, let's proceed in draping the patient with top sheet to expose perineum and avoid unnecessary exposure of body parts and maintain client's comfort. After draping the patient, assist the patient to side near you. After that, loosen foot part of the top sheet. Next step is to use the diagonal draping. This helps expose perineum and avoid unnecessary exposure of body parts and maintain client's comfort. Next step is to provide perineal care if needed. Presence of microorganisms near urethral meatus is reduced. Step number 7 is to place tray between thighs facing foot of the bed. This provides easy access to supplies during catheter insertion. Next is to adjust drop light. Flashlight may be used. This permits accurate identification and good view of the urethral meatus. After that, place waste receptacle at an area near you. After that is to wash your hands because this prevents the spread of microorganisms. Next, in opening the sterile pack. A. Grasp its corners and open it with care touching only the underneath sides and edges. B. Bring edge of cover under buttocks if able. To provide sterile field and to prevent transmission of microorganisms from table or work area to sterile supplies. Next step is to let the doctor open the pack of sterile gloves to put on gloves. This allows doctor to handle sterile supplies without contamination. Next is to observe sterile technique in offering pack of towel and withhold for draping. This helps maintain sterility. 
place adequate amount of lubricant over the non-dominant hand after the doctor cleanses your urinary meatus. Big folic catheter or size according to age and remove outside pack observing sterility ensuring that the tip of the catheter will be offered for lubrication and insertion. Outside pack is unsterile. Doctor will pick the tip of catheter for lubrication. Step number 16 is to instruct client to breathe through the mouth while doctor inserts catheter to the urinary meatus. Relaxation of external sphincter aids in insertion of catheter. Place distal end of catheter in serial bowel to measure urine volume or attach the drainage bag as indicated. Collect urine specimen if needed. Fill sterile specimen container to the desired level by holding end of catheter over the specimen bottle. This allows sterile specimen to be obtained for culture analysis. After that, the doctor removes straight single-use catheter slowly. This helps discomfort to client and will be minimized. After removing the straight single-use catheter slowly, remove the drapes. This prevents transmission of infection. Next is to position the patient for comfort. Put the bed in low position with side rails up. This helps and this promotes client's comfort. After that, discard the equipment in the utility room. This prevents transmission of infection. Last but not the least, wash hands thoroughly. This reduces the spread of infection.